What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to talk about number two, Shadow Mosquito Ninja. This was in the latest episode of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zell, which aired today, and I thought we should talk about it since, of course, it is finally the second number card, being number two. So hopefully, number one, we're going to hear about that pretty soon, maybe next episode, I don't know. I have to wait and see, but yeah, let's read off the stats and stuff for this card first. It is a uh, wind attribute, uh, rank two, it has zero attack and zero defense. It requires three level two monsters to exceed seven into it, so not too easy to summon. Uh, let's see, here's its effect. Cannot be destroyed by battle except a number of monsters. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can activate one of these effects. Detach one XC material from this card, this card cannot be destroyed by that battle. You take no battle damage from that battle. Also place a one hallucinogen counter on one face-up monster on the field. The effects of monsters with hallucinogen counters are negated. If this card is targeted for an attack by a monster with a hallucinogen uh, counter, this card cannot be destroyed by that battle. Also your opponent takes any battle damage that would have taken from this battle. So yeah, uh, kind of an annoying card I guess because I mean being a mosquito but unfortunately not very good I wish it was more you know where it attacks as well as these effects would activate you know that would make it just a little bit better but it's always whenever your opponent attacks you know when it's targeted for an attack uh, so yeah that would make this card a little better I think it's gonna have to be one of those number cards that's gonna need more of a buff instead of getting you know nerfed <laughs> whenever it's uh whenever it comes out you know a few of the other number cards we were talking about I'm like you know how would they change it to make it where it wouldn't be, you know, too broken in the actual card game. And this one, though, on the other hand, it's more the opposite, where this effect, I don't see how this would really cause too much trouble, actually. Uh, the only thing that's really good about this that I like is how uh, it can uh, negate effects. So that could actually be pretty useful. But other than that, like I said, it just being targeted for an attack to activate its effects uh, just doesn't seem as useful. Like uh, it would have to attack or some other type of effect, some kind of buff, because this just isn't going to be too usable. Also, having to use uh, three level two monsters to bring this card out just doesn't really seem worth it. I mean, with this type of effect. Although I do like the hallucinogen counter idea, you know, how it can negate effects when a monster has a hallucinogen counter on it, and also uh, how, you know, this card cannot be destroyed by battle easily, you know, just annoying as a mosquito, you know, as the name suggests. So, yeah, the idea is cool, the effect. Uh, is gonna need some work so I I mean I can't wait for this card to be printed of course for my numbers collection but let's hope it gets a little bit better of an effect because I'd like to you know see this card actually get some play and at the way it is right now I don't see it really getting used unfortunately but yeah tell me what you guys think about this number card is it a bit of a disappointment is it you know do you think it should be stronger do you like the effect for what it is already or you know just tell me what you guys think or what deck would you use this in I was thinking, I guess possibly Ojamas or something. I'm trying to think of anything that could bring out the level 2 monsters. And Ojamas always like the first thing that comes to my mind. So, yeah, I guess Ojamas would be the thing I would try this with. And, uh, yeah, I gotta say, though, I'm a bit disappointed because I was thinking, you know, the original numbers, you know, like 1, 2, 3, and all those would be, like, really powerful. And this one being number 2, it's just... It needs work. Hopefully when it comes out, though, like I said, it will get some kind of buff and be uh, actually pretty strong. I'm really hoping that. And, yeah, can't wait to hear what number one's going to be. I'm, I assume it's going to be Astral, you know, somehow. And uh, I hope it's going to have some kind of awesome effect. So, yeah, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.